That story about today marking two years since Moyana Tillman was shot and killed by her boyfriend in Clinton, Maryland. This afternoon, Tillman's loved ones held an event in her honor. News Force Mauricio Casillas joins us now live with a look at how they're helping families who've gone through similar tragedies. Mauricio? Hey there, Jim. Good evening. You know, the rain didn't stop folks from coming out and honoring the life of Mayana Tillman here in Ardmore Park in Springdale, Maryland. This is the park that she used to come to as a kid growing up. You know, she was only 24 years old when her life was tragically cut short. And two years later, her family continues to run a foundation in her honor in hopes of preventing domestic violence. Mayana had a promising life ahead of her. She had a candle business, and she was making plans to move to Los Angeles to pursue a career in modeling. On September 24th, 2021, that all changed. Police say she was shot and killed outside her home by her boyfriend, James Kirkland, who later shot and killed himself too. In the wake of this unspeakable tragedy, Moyana's family started their advocacy work. They raise money for victims of domestic violence and provide mental health resources to those who might not be able to afford it. And while the pain of losing her will never go away, advocating for others does make things a little easier. There are different ways to, to work through grief, turn pain into purpose and to show your love and to the support. Um, and continue the legacy for your loved one that is no longer here. And that's what the foundation is doing. These are definitely things that Moyana and her spirit would have wanted to do. Communication is key in these instances. If you or a loved one might be going through similar situations, the best thing to do is to reach out and to talk to someone. That's the first step in getting some help. We can tell you the Mayana Tillman Foundation has a dedicated website and an Instagram page with resources available to those who might need that help. Live in Prince George's County, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. All right, Mauricio, thank you.